Welcome to CEO Interviews, a production of GORCOM, in which we take the time to speak with small cap executives about what's going on at their companies. With us today for the first time ever, Jim Pakoulis, the CEO and chairman of Boosh Plant-Based Brands, trades on the CSC under the stock symbol VEGI. If you've ever thought to yourself, how great would it be if my favorite comfort foods could just be healthier than meet Boosh, because they're an award-winning plant-based comfort food company whose products include, and I love this, mac and cheese and peas, veggie bolognese, and other heat and eat delicious comfort foods that are multiple award-winning, 100% plant-based, GMO-free, and gluten-free. And more than just lip service, this isn't just a good idea. They've expanded to 300 stores in less than 18 months, including the likes of Whole Foods and Safeway and others. They've got a branding and supply partnership with Beyond Meat, and they're distributed by one of the largest distributors in North America. And if you haven't heard about them, it's because they're newly listed as of May 27th, and they have strong insider ownership at just under 30% of the company. Jim, welcome to the show. George, thank you. You do that better than I do. Well, look, it's easy to do when you when you got the kind of results you guys have got. Uh, so really glad to have you on here. And by the way, love your background. Uh, if you want to tell everybody where you are, because this is the best background we've ever had on the show. Oh, I, I don't want to tell anybody. I, <laughs> I want to keep it. As, I want to keep it a secret. <laughs> what exactly? I mean, I gave a description the, uh, naturally in my in my in my opening, but give us a bit of a deeper dive. What exactly is Bush doing? Sure. Bush plant based brands is the gateway to experience high quality non GMO gluten-free, 100% plant-based nutritional comfort foods for the whole family. As you just mentioned, we currently offer six frozen meals and they're sold throughout all of Canada. Coconut curry bowl, mac and cheese, bolognese, Mexican fiesta bowl, pot pie and shepherd's pie. In the summer, we'll be expanding our meals to include three refrigerated products, mushroom gravy, chili, and sloppy joes. And it's worth noting that we do serve Beyond Meat in several of our dishes, including the sloppy joes and the shepherd's pie. Love At the it. end of the summer, we plan to have shelf-stable foods in the grocery store as well. So our goal is to be in each of the three major sections of the grocery store. So Boosh, good for you and good for planet Earth. So, you know, that sounds like a mouthful, pardon the pun, right? You guys got a lot of things done. How did Boosh get started? How did you guys get, get going down this path? It started with the founder, Connie Marples. She's the founder and president of Boosh. Uh, she's a seasoned executive and entrepreneur within the food and beverage industry, uh, as well as in sales and marketing. And Connie has literally been winning awards for over 20 years. In fact, back in 2003, she created a very successful restaurant wine bar in Vancouver. And she ended up being on the coveted position of, of the list of Content Nast Traveler's Best Restaurant in the World Award. Yeah, Condé Fast Nast, that's forward. a big name. And, and huge, amazing. Uh, she really has been a foodie for forever. Fast forward to 2017, a lot of her friends were asking her if she could give them recipes for plant-based healthy foods. And so she decided at first she was going to create an app. And then she realized, why don't I go and find a co-packer, create these myself and see if I can sell them throughout greater Vancouver, which is exactly what she has done. Uh, during the last two years, she's won, as you just mentioned, several awards, including finalist for product of the year, local innovation award and rising star award. So she's, she's done a tremendous job uh, starting the company. Before we get a, a, do a deeper dive into the company, I think it's important to also understand the public side because you recently just had uh, a pretty successful IPO. Let's talk about your capital structure uh, and what you anticipate using the funds for because you guys raised some pretty, a pretty good amount of money. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, first and foremost, we have no debt on the books, which makes us somewhat unique uh, compared to our peers. Now let's talk about the cap structure. We have a, a unique conservative cap table. We have 15.9 million shares outstanding. We did a $2.8 million IPO a couple of weeks ago, open to 50 cents, closed the first day about a buck 20. One of the most beautiful parts about our cap structure is between a very small round of, of financing prior to the IPO and the IPO, we have over 1,100 retail investors uh, that are shareholders. Wow. And we want to know, yeah, 
uh, and we want to grow that shareholder base exponentially. Our belief is creating an expansive shareholder base benefits everybody, investors, shareholders, employees, customers, management. So we're real happy with, with how we started out of the gate with Boosh. And hope the shareholders also become customers, right? <laughs> Just start consuming it's, the products every, every week. Uh, and we hear that on a daily basis. Hi, I, I participated in your IPO. Where can I find Boosh? Well, and we can talk about it now, www.bushfood.com. And we have a locator tab that you can go ahead and find out throughout Canada where nice. you can pick up Boosh. Is there a specific region like Western or Eastern or, that, or are you all over Canada right now? We are all over Canada. So let's talk about, you know, there are a lot of other plant-based companies out there naturally because it's, it's going to be, in our opinion, at Agoracom, it's going to be an explosive parabolic growth kind of paradigm shifting industry this decade. What differentiates you from other, plant, from other plant-based companies? All of our products are 100% plant-based, non-GMO, gluten-free, heat and eat. Some of our competitors have some of that com those components in some of their meals. None of our competitors, based on our research, have all of those components in every one of those meals. And that holds true for the three new refrigerated products we'll be rolling out before the end of July. Mushroom gravy, chili, sloppy go, Joe. And again, with sloppy Joe, we, we have Beyond Meat product crumble in that product because we have a beautiful alliance with Beyond Meat. So bottom line is every single one of our products, 100% plant-based, non-GMO, gluten-free, heat and eat. Is that what explains your massive expansion to 300 locations already in just 18 months? I would say so. Yeah, sure. Now let's talk about that for a second. Connie Marples uh, was literally going around in the Bushmobile in 218, 219, delivering the products, we hired then a top tier food broker who introduced us to Unify. Through that relationship, just these two parties were able to get us into, or will be in by the end of July, 375 stores. So what do we have been doing in the last four to five months is ramping up our sales department with top tier sales professionals in order to greatly expand the sales route of our company. Uh, there's 15,000 grocery stores throughout Canada. So obviously we have a long way to go uh, before we're touching uh, the majority of those. So you're going to have both a distributor model and a direct sales force at the same time. Correct. That is correct. Yep. The bigger part, and darn wrong, Canada is a great market. I'm Canadian, love it. But the fact of the matter is the U.S., is where you know the real action happens, and you recently announced expanding into the U.S. Uh, let's talk about what's that going to look like. What can you tell us about that expansion? We were getting contacted on a regular basis from U.S. grocers wanting to bring Bush in, but we wow. we want to be very cautious to make sure our fundamentals in Canada are established and solid before we started migrating across the border. However, having said that, our Canadian broker introduced us to a top tier food broker in the U.S. that represents all corners of the U.S. And this was recently in a press release. If anybody watching this would like to learn more about that. So we retained their services. In fact, we had an onboarding call for almost two hours yesterday with this group. So our game plan is to methodically get into the United States. We're going to start in the, in the northwest quadrant first, Oregon and Washington and then slowly but aggressively migrate south and east. What does that mean, Jim, for manufacturing and supply chain for you? Does that mean you're going to also have to slowly maybe put a couple locations in the U.S., or can you service all the U.S. from with, with your current supply chain and logistics? We want to walk before we run, hence exporting from Canada first with our existing template that we know works. Once we get the ball moving there, I have uh, in a parallel path because I live in Southeast United States, been going to different manufacturers, looking at facilities, co-packers to either establish a relationship with them or purchase them outright to establish a footprint here. So it's a two prong approach. First, we'll export. But once we get to critical mass and internally we've determined what critical mass is, then we'll transfer over to being able to manufacture and distribute directly from the U.S. Jim, sounds exciting. I love the enthusiasm. I love the nat the natural feel of your background. Just makes it feel like <laughs> Bush Foods is, is the real thing. 
We're going to have a lot more to talk about, it sounds like, in the coming weeks, quarter, months. Looks like a lot's going on. So before we sign off, what uh, I want to leave last words to you, to both your 1,100 shareholders and all the investors out there that are just discovering Boosh right now. What, what, what do you want to sign off with? Thank you for investing in Boosh. We, we, we very much appreciate it. And if anyone is interested to learn more, www.bushfood.com, www.bushfood.com. And as you started at the top of the hour, George, our ticker on the CSE, V-E-G-I, veggie. Hey, you just took my thunder because that's how I sign off with that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jim. For everybody Thanks, at home, George. you've been watching or you've been listening by podcast. By the way, if you listen by podcast, you definitely got to find the video because you got to see the background behind Jim. But if you listen by podcast on Spotify, Google, Apple, your favorite podcast platform, it's been to Jim Pakulis, CEO, chairman of Boosh Plant Place Brands, trades on the CSC under VEGI. You heard the website already from Jim, where to go do your due diligence. Uh, we uh, All I can tell you is this, we know what we think of the plant-based food industry. We think it's going through a paradigm shifting, parabolic growth curve. That means paradigm shifting. Guys like me, traditional meat and potatoes eaters are slow transition to plant-based foods. And all of that means parabolic growth. What you got to do is your due diligence to find out and ask yourself, is Boosh Foods going to be, Boosh plant-based brands, going to be part of that growth? We know what our answer is, but we can't, we can't say it. You got to do your due diligence. Make sure you do, you do it so that 12 months from now, you don't say, we didn't tell you so. Have a great day. See you next time. Thank you, George. Hey, guys. This video is over, but don't forget to help your company by liking it and then leaving a comment below. And then don't forget to help yourself by subscribing to our channel so you don't ever miss another great Agorco.